Cause I ain't got time to stop and that's a fact So call your girls and raise some hell Shine up your crown, get out on the town and throw back a beer or two Told a story, all the people and places before me. Well, so everything kind of started when I was five. Um, I remember it was Christmas morning, and we were at my grandparents' house, my, my dad's parents, and I remember seeing a huge guitar case in the back of their living room wrapped in Barney wrapping paper. I remember it was such a cool, I was like, that's mine. And um, I was five. I get one foot through an open door. So I grew up in Brooklyn, New Hampshire. I'm New Hampshire girl through and through. <laughs> I grew up listening to like James Taylor, Sheryl Crow, Jewel, like all the really good Americana folky stuff. Um, and I just recently got into into country music back in like high school. Um, when I met my husband, he's like lived in Texas for a long time, and he grew up here in Swansea, and and he's a big big country music guy. It's the truth. It's the stories. It's when you listen to something, you can relate to it, whatever story it may be, whether you know it's something that you know someone that has gone through something that someone's singing about, or it's something that you've gone through. Um, I think it's it's the it's the truth and the honesty in in the writing that that does it for me. <laughs> So I've, I've definitely, I've definitely done the, you know, 300 gigs, 340 gigs a year, down to the 50 gigs a year. So, and and that's everywhere from, you know, playing to two people in the back of a, of a, a restaurant basement that no one's listening, and it's like those two people are you and the bartender. Um, and then I've also gone, you know, to to play for hundreds of thousands of people and national anthems at different sporting events. I think right now the focus for me and for the band is really. The original stuff and the support slots and writing with new people and for me it's like the the ultimate goal is to I would love to get a cut by a national artist that's like my my big thing so <laughs> we call ourselves the hot mess express between you know Phil Dino and, and Brad it's like these guys are there it's the band is more of a family than it is a band and I think that's really important that if you if you step away from if, like if I step away from my husband and my daughter and my family, do could I spend time away from them with these guys and not feel like I wish I was home? And if the answer is yes, like those are your people. It's been tough. It's been really, really tough. But honestly, I, I could not picture myself doing anything but but music. It's it's been in my blood since I was a kid, and it's, it's all I know. <laughs> I always tell people, I, I can be 80 years old and writing hits, but I can't necessarily be 80 years old and sitting in a bar in a corner playing guitar and, and performing. Um, so I think there's, there's, there's an important level when it comes to songwriting that is, it's poetry, it's art, it's 
It's an open book to who I am and, and things that I feel and the things that I think and things that I experience. So lying on his face told a story. I'm grateful. I feel like a lot of the opportunities that I get, it's like I have to sit back and be like, there's so many artists and other musicians and songwriters that would love to have this opportunity. I'm really, like, really thankful for this. So, again, it's just, it's, it's knowing where your goals are, knowing where you stand, and always knowing that you can improve to be better to, to get to where you're trying to go.